Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In the last session, we discussed introduction to string handling in a C language and how to read the values and how to read the elements of a character array and how to print a character array also we discussed. Now one more example on a string handling. Here in the last program hash include, so we are including that standard library and we are reading to read the elements we are declaring one character array name with the size 20. Now we are asking printf enter name and here it is in the last program we discussed a scanf function I want to read a name percentage s address no need to provide reasons we discussed very clearly because name is holding the base address and from the base address what all the characters you input character by character it will collect. So, here on the console whenever it is asking the message enter name enter name if it is a single word it is ok. Suppose we are giving like this Hari Krishna we are giving like this whenever we are giving a space between a two words here it is into the first string with the help of first percentage s into the string name it will collect the value only hari it will collect the value only hari and here it is looking for the second percentage s to read the value krishna but here it is we have provided only one percentage s format specifier in a scanf so that's why only hari it will collect and it will omit krishna so later if you want to print printf printf name is percentage yes percentage yes we are printing the name in the name what is the value here hari so it will print only hari on the output screen name is hari so using percentage yes we can read only a single word strings multi word strings it is impossible to read sir one name contains how many words how we can understand of course it is not possible sir then how to read sir so that's why instead of a scanf function we use a get s function what we use get s function c here in place of a scanf now we are using get s get s function means what is getting the string is reading the string here sir what we have to pass format specifiers not required only just a name we are passing the name right variable value we are passing sir how get s function will read get s function will read the complete character set into the array until you press enter key if you do not press enter key it will keep on reading either it is a space character or it is any special symbol it will keep on reading when it will stop sir it will stop only when we press enter key ok for example if it is a scanf we can provide a space right to differentiate the input values but in a get s how many spaces you will give not required it is a sentence or it is a paragraph or it is a page until you press the enter key it will keep on reading. So, here whenever whenever we are giving the space it will not consider whenever you will press enter symbol so then only it will stop collecting the elements into array. 
So, now here it is instead of printing Hari, the complete value it will print a Krishna. The complete value Hari Krishna will be stored into the name and next whenever we are printing, what percentage yes will do? The last character is a null character, null character until the null character all the characters it will print that is percentage yes, that is percentage yes. This is using a scanf function and using a getS function to read the elements. If it is a single word, we can go for percentage yes. If it is a multi word, it is better to go for getS function. Either you want to read a sentence or you want to read any, any paragraph and all. Okay? We will see one more example. Here, we have one header file. Header file is a string dot h header file string dot h header file. So, contains n number of predefined functions, n number of predefined functions used to process strings. If you want to manipulate the strings, if you want to process the string data, we can go for string dot h library functions. We will see one by one. Suppose one function is there s t r l e n string length string length this is sir what it will do what it will do means here it will return length of string length of string excluding excluding null character nothing but whenever it is returning the length it will not include null character is one length okay that means for example for example take any name any name for example shyam we are taking last character is a null character the length is only four characters it will return the length is a four Sir, show me the exact prototype, how they defined exactly that string length means, observe here, S T R L E N, it is taking character array as an argument, character array. So, more clearly character pointer, character pointer, sir, I do not know what is a pointer, no problem, we will see in the coming sessions. Okay, just considered as a character array. It is taking character array as an input, nothing but string as an input. And sir, what is the output? Output is a return type is a size underscore t type. Question sir, what is a size underscore t? I did not hear this data type previously anywhere in a C language. Size underscore t is nothing but a unsigned data type or unsigned integer value. What is that? Unsigned integer value. So, previously, so they are calling it as a size underscore t. Nowadays, we are calling a unsigned integer. Sir, why unsigned integer, sir? If you want to find the length of the string, consider, suppose if you are not passing any character, the length will be 0. If you are passing some characters in a string, the length will be either 1, 2, 3, 4, some positive value only. Definitely, length will not be a negative value, impossible case. So, in a data types, unsigned means what is a positive value. So, length is always a positive integer value. So, that is why string length return type is a unsigned integer type, return type is a unsigned integer type. So, now on this one simple example, we will see how to use a string length. Okay? Here, we are writing the main method directly, main method. Here, I am declaring a character array same name I am giving str, any name you can give and the size is also. 
maximum 30 characters you can input. And here it is we are asking printf enter a string, enter a string. And here it is we are reading, is better to go for get s. Multi word characters also they can read. Get s and we are passing str. Then they will input. After that, I want to find the length of the string. So, where it is available, the header file you have to include, include string dot h header file you need to include. And then we can call str len string length, right? We need to pass that character array. What is the character array name? str. So, we are passing str. str here it will return the length in the form of integer. We are collecting into len variable. len variable is better to declare it as unsigned integer. Always a positive value it will return. The length is a positive variable. It is a positive integer value. And we are printing very clearly printf very clearly here it is length of length of string in place of string what I am writing percentage yes I am placing in a single quotations also observe clearly percentage yes is length percentage d that is also in single quotes if you want to place you can. What we have to print sir in place of percentage yes str string in place of percentage d what we have to print length length. So, in the output so console also I am writing on the output screen on the console first it will ask this message enter a string enter a string. Suppose here it is we are writing Naresh IT simple message and whenever we press enter how many characters are there including space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 not the null character only T. So, here length of length of that string it will place in a single quotation. So, Naresh IT in a single quotations is the length is a 9 it will print. 9 is also in single quotes. This is output. Finding the length of the string. Finding the length of the string. Okay. So, using string length function we are calling string length function is taking character array. So, what string length you want to find out that you have to pass as an argument and uh, how many characters are present excluding null character. It will not include that null character. Excluding null character it will return a positive value, positive integer value. So, length variable is of type what unsigned integer type. This is simply how to find the length of the string. Okay. So, in this session we have discussed about uh, get s function and uh, so one predefined function available in a string dot h library that is string length function. In the next session we will see how to find the length of the string only, but without using string dot h header file functions. We are not depending on write predefined functions. We can write our own logic, control statements logic, right? We can write user defined logic to find the length of the string, okay? For more videos, so please subscribe to Naresh ID channel. Thank you.